Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Now look, y'all have been begging me to react to this video for days. There's been so much news, but I haven't been able to, man. Basically, we are gonna be getting a first look on the NBA 2K24 builder. Someone who helped make the builder, design the builder, is recommending this build. And I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts about the build, okay? It's been highly requested. But before we get into any of that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 276k.5. We're like one subscriber away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button. It helps Young Swan grow. Um, I feel that slashers are going to be really good this year. Um, I know people when I did my... Leak, 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 leak. The dev is saying that slashers are going to be good again this year. Slashers have been good every year <laughs> but i don't know i don't i don't get it man i don't i don't understand how they they buffing defense and buffing slashing at the same time it's kind of confusing man it's like what's really like everything can't just be improved something had to digress one of them hoes is winning my boy you feel me but i guess that's not how you promote uh <laughs> video games my other video they were like well slash has always been good and the reality is is that um for the most part that's not really slashing that's just rim running so like let's just call it that is slashing what what are you talking about <laughs> that's so funny how he said that right right after i said that that's insane what the six eight small um forward. trying to make something similar hey by the way this this demi six eight he's going small forward and six eight okay i'm thinking by the way if y'all didn't know i'm thinking that at 6'6", six, six, that's going to be the last height that you can actually speed boost off of. By how people are acting and what I'm hearing behind the scenes and stuff, I'm thinking 6'6", six, six, the height, where you're not going to be able to speed boost. Or maybe you might, not, you might not be able to get the Hall of Fame and you get like silver and you're super slow. I don't know. It's going to be something of the sort. But I, I'm, but I believe when you get at these bigger heights... You're going to get that broken bulldozer badge. So maybe they finally made strength matter. I don't know. But be careful. Do not go out the gate. Make sure you see people prove that strength works before you go and waste your $150, bro. Make sure. Or don't waste your money, my boy. But my hypothesis is the only way they made this strengths matter it's because it's attached to the most broken badge that was in 2K23, Clamp Breaker, right? They combined Clamp Breaker and Bully and created Bulldozer. And I, you know, so, and then that's, you probably to have a high level of Bulldozer, it's tied to strength. I think that's kind of weak from a dev standpoint. To the only way you can make it is if you have this specific badge, which is like extremely broken. We all know how broken blow -bys are in 2K. So, you know, but it, it all depends on if you can still get the stop as a lockdown. That's what we don't know. Okay? Be careful, bro. So, like, my lob threat in 2K20, as you're going to see a lot. I will reference 2K20 a lot in this. Um, and I'm going to get my weight up 250 pounds. Hey, he's referencing 2K20. Go look at them 2K20 builders. Okay? I think he's have highly inspired by that. All right? And then I'm going to get my wingspan and max it all the way out. Okay? He's maxing Body shape doesn't really out. Matter. Bro, he's maxing uh out his weight and wingspan bro <laughs> but um this is what i went with because it can be versatile it can play like a little bit of center Ooh, it can play a little bit oh this game's gonna be crazy bro hold on of anything i would need um with this build especially <laughs> for rep grinding too so this is what i want to rock with oh. and um freeform builder like this they already showed the builder but you can't have everything maxed out so things are going to be more nerf man i don't know what i'm talking about you might want to go back look at your 2k20 and look how the pie charts were and look at the limitations you had He's telling and that you. is what you can probably guess of what it'll be like but don't get it twisted if you want to max out all your shooting have no physicals have no defense and just go shooting playmaking i mean yeah you can totally trash your build and max out two categories but if you want to try to be balanced or you know you want to try to have a decent you build you're gonna to have to really mess around with it a little bit and again like i said before if you have you're gonna to have to sacrifice somewhere okay but for me i want to have something like a pure blue um, so I'm gonna go higher on my close shot this time. I'm gonna assume that close shots gonna be attached to a lot of things. Probably gonna have to. He's saying close shot gonna be attached to a lot of things. Go higher than that. Than what I want to be. What than I want. But Damn. we'll see. Driving layup. I'm gonna try to go as high as I can to make sure Damn. I get all my fearless finishers and all that stuff. Hall of Fame. Like what all that Hall of Fame. Um, so I'm assuming that it's gonna have to be pretty high. And I'm assuming again that driving layup will be attached again to fearless finisher or something of that nature. Um, my driving dunk. I wanted to go high enough to God where I can unlock Damn. all my finishers now. But I don't want to go all the <laughs> way up enough to 99. I might do that when the game comes out. I just gotta know what animations are what and what and which ones are yeah, probably, probably, which damn. animations are like, probably good enough to need. 
but also the badges, right? So we do know there's gonna be new badges Whoa. in the game. So I want to make sure I'm able to get 95 dunk. So that that might mean that there is a so that 95 right there that might mean that might mean like the dunk for the MJ or something some dunk that might be the cap right there they haven't released the charts make sure y'all stay up to date with the videos because i'm gonna definitely let you know what ratings you need for certain animations and, and badges etc man then it, of course like getting a contact dunk animation is probably not gonna be 85 anymore it's probably gonna be higher because you gotta there's no way you can have an 85 driving dunk and being able to have every build be able to get it so i'm just kind of throwing ideas out there i don't know i haven't seen the builder but again i'm speaking from my knowledge of what it should be and that doesn't mean it's right you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get my standing dunk up just enough um, God, but I will say this though, let's damn. say for instance, if I get Big Man Contact Dunk shorter than 610, I would definitely get Big Man. Bro, what is he making? Big Contact Dunk, but I don't know. I'm assuming that, you know, right now, you're not going to be able to get it unless you're 610, but I do think you should be able to get Big Man Contact Dunks, because Zion Williamson is sick. Post control, I'm going 80. I want to have a decent amount of post control. Bro, 80 post control. God damn. Is he going to have nothing else? Oh, this is where my first sacrifice comes. I just want to have a 75 mid-range, and that's it. Kind of similar to how my lob there was. No three ball. Um, And then my free throw, I'm going to go 74. I'm not really worried about my, my um, shooting. On. I just want to make sure I can shoot Hold on. enough to where people just nah, can't stand. I can hit the ball nah. and spark in the mid-range. Mike Wayne says 75, so we're getting up for three balls. So I'm assuming no. we're getting up for mid-range also, okay? Um, on the pass accuracy. Listen, listen. I have to tell you guys this, especially the old heads and the casuals. Please stop making builds with no three-pointer listen you're wasting your money and ruining your experience i play with randoms a lot the worst people on the court are always the people without a three this is a new era okay only if you are a talented player can you play without a three ball right the worse you are the higher your three has to be seriously know your level know your place if you're not very good you have to have a higher three that's just it's just basic you're making it harder for your teammates because everyone like say you go play rec everyone's gonna keep slashing cutting all everyone has to do is just stand in the paint because no one can shoot duh you got two three people you're going to be able to dunk on all of them no goofy you have to make a build able to shoot. It don't matter what badge, what you're doing, you have to be able to shoot in 2K. I will never play with no one who has no three-pointer. You feel me? You're making it so much harder on your point guard and so much harder on every teammate, okay? Never listen to this, especially if you're bad. If you want to have fun, you're a good player, and you could get by with it, you know, you have to be like a, a different echelon. But to spend one fit, if you want to do this, but I, I'm just saying, you're going to ruin your fun and everyone else's fun if you do this. If you want to have fun and all that, just dunk, lay up on people, just be a, a straight menace. Maybe you might be able to get by on the 1v1s, but, but I'm telling you, dog, this is a new era, bro. Your fun will be way better if your build can shoot please if you are a casual bro stop making builds that can't shoot bro i'm telling you i've been playing since the first 2k i'm not just some cheese head bro i'm an advanced old head i'm 89 listen if you are an npc if you cannot even dribble to get a open three like a, a not a step back if you can't dribble to get an open three boy you better put a three ball on your character you're not very good that's okay not attacking you but don't ruin the game for your teammates bro seriously i don't care how bro <sighs> y'all never learn bro so many times i play no squad homie can't shoot bro can't slash bro can't dunk bro can't think bro can't do anything bro cuts and someone's standing in the paint he wants me to pass it to him while he's cutting and there's a guy right there bro stop what is wrong with you people you have to learn to shoot no one respects the three they play off you casuals have a three learn to shoot make punish them bro it's that simple man see i'm going to 70 i don't want to go crazy on this uh, in reality i'm probably doing more than what i should but as you see here Damn. i'm just going on the basics i don't need all this low key Damn. i want to just get pro dribble moves that's it okay so i'm not trying to get the, the elite and i'm damn sure not trying to get the elite elite i don't even know what it which so pro dribble moves is looking like 80 ball handle and even even if you make a build and you you got a midi that's not enough 
You need to space the floor at the three, bro. I'm telling you, stop making your random teammates have to suffer because you can't shoot a three ball. Please, bro. It has to be a movement, dog. Uh, man, uh, this is a losing. Bro. What I'm doing is I'm going 70 on my interior defense. I'm going 87 on my perimeter. Again, like I said, Damn. this is I want. So you could get you can get finishing playmaking and defense still so it's like you know this build to be kind of like a two-way slasher my lob threat kind of but like the, the two-way slasher type i'm going 87 on my perimeter defense but really and what i want to try to do is get silver badges here so see look i think he's banking on just being able to blow by people bro and just dunk <laughs> you know I think I think he's making a two way. Slow. Uh, if you think about it, crazy. Golden Hall of Fame badges for finishing, and then my defense. My would just want to get a silver chase down on this. I don't want to go anything higher than that, but I'm I'm okay with that. He's saying 75 block. That might be silver chase down. Leak 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 leak. And on my speed, I'm going 80 on my speed, which is actually might be a little too fast than what you want, but I'm definitely assuming. So you can still. It still seems pretty old. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. You can still get wiggly in that hole. That speed is going to really matter in 2K24, so that no longer that 75 type speed. But remember, I'm 6'8, 250, so I'm probably will be cool with going 75 because I will be running a lot with like this build will be matched up against centers. So I would, you know, think that maybe I can get away with a 75, but I'm just. Look, I used to play with Demi in 2K20, bro. His lob threat was horrible, okay? I don't care none of that YouTube stuff. It was horrible. I hated playing with it. The, the lower three, he always missed in the corner in 2K20, bro. I always made him go and get another build and he would still miss in the corner, but it would still, it would not be as much that he would miss in the corner, bro. You know, it was a serious issue. It would make me struggle versus negative win percents because they're doubling, you know, they're doubling me. They, they, they're seeing he can't shoot. So I'm being doubled, right? All, all the time. I, bro, I played with him hundreds of games, guys, <laughs> you know? So th th this is what I mean. Like bro you can't and it was miserable i hate when someone in my corner can't shoot bro it's miserable it's annoying it's miserable it's annoying i don't deserve to be double not being able to slash and just keep being pinched all game because dude can't shoot that's lame right you should never make your teammates suffer like that and one more thing I want to say real quick. I do not know Demi like that. We have, we do not have no close relationship. None of that stuff. <laughs> I don't know why he was trying to get Jutsu people in that space like that. I ain't never had his number or nothing. I don't know what's what's going on. People hit me up to run. I run with him. That's, that's when he had no, no clout or nothing. I run with anybody, bro. Especially if you're a content creator, I give anyone opportunities to run with me on stream and etc. You feel me? But he's trying to act. He was trying to act like he's giving me an opportunity. What? I'm giving you an opportunity. I'm the big dog. What? I'm a legend in these streets. People acting like they ain't have direct lines with devs, bro. I have DMs with Mike Wang in my Twitch. You feel me? <laughs> I have DMs with LD uh plenty of devs have been in my stream baluba devs have been in a bunch of people's stream have talked to me um have talked to the whole community so i don't know why y'all are acting like devs are finally talking to us they've been talking to us they've been sitting in streams they've been giving feed they we've been talking to them this isn't new uh so confusing I don't know why like people try to go with these uh narratives it's very weird you know i give people opportunities bro you, i don't demi you can't give me no opportunity bro Dude, i don't think people understand like who i really am like my impact on the community like i'm really like <laughs> like if i didn't exist dog this whole community would look completely different like those tier lists y'all see a lot of those creators would not exist <laughs> if I wasn't there. But y'all don't know that. Y'all don't know the whole history. Y'all don't know how people was inspired by me. How everyone, <laughs> Swante, thank you. Da, 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 da. You know, y'all don't know that though.
But yeah, let's 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 get back to it, man. People be crazy, bro. And the same thing for strength. So I know a lot of people have been saying like, yo, strength never matters, strength never matters. Well, now this is where my big assumption is, and I want y'all to listen very closely. Strength, even if it doesn't, even if strength it cannot be seen in the game, let's just assume that strength is now attached to badges. So you see, that's the only way they could make. I I don't know if it's still gonna matter, but. If they finally made it attached to badges, that could be the only way. They've been trying this. Like, guys, I don't I don't think y'all know how many years they've been saying this, dog. We're talking back 2K18, they went heavy, bro. They got me hard. Me and Steezo was sitting in the cord, bro. Sitting in the cord. Really thinking and like, bro, bro, one of us gotta test my Yes. Of course, I didn't promote this build, but I wanted to test it, right? I made a play shot with, like, max weight. They got me. They got me, bro. Steezo went and tested a, 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 a damn max weight, basically, big, tall playmaker. Got us. You feel me? That, bro. But we, we didn't promote them builds, but we went and tested to see, right? Wasted our bread. I'm telling you, with stuff like that, don't trust it. Then every year after, they tried to say strength matter. I don't really remember the 17, 16, 15 year, but I'm sure they maybe said something like that. But this year, they could finally do it, bro. You know, this could finally be the year, bro. <laughs> they done, you know, they finally figured out. Let's put it with the most broken badge in the game. Clamp breaker. <laughs> you feel me? But dog, I'm just I'm telling you, dog, it, it ain't no hater. I'm just trying to help y'all, bro. Cause y'all, bro, I get so many messages, hundreds every year, thousands. So bro, cause people don't want to waste their money, bro. Everything in the world is getting more expensive. And I be trying to help y'all. I could just imagine if I was in y'all situation. You feel me? So I be trying to help y'all. That's why, you know, when I be posting my build videos, I post straight meta builds. I give you the recommendations that fit your play style. That's why you need to watch my channel, but hey, man. But it's looking like 80 is some type of requirement to get Bulldozer. So now, maybe in order to get Posterizer on gold, you gotta have an 80 strength or a 70 strength. Posterizer on gold, 80, 70 strength. Oh my God. <laughs> What are they doing? God damn. Yo, bro, bro, if they really do that, then you gotta have like way lower stats on others. Don't don't y'all think that's weak? Like from a developer standpoint, to finally make strength matter, you tie it into a bunch of different badges. Isn't that lame? That don't really mean strength matter. You feel me? That's I don't I, I feel that like that's lame. Like, is it that serious? To like try to like prove the point like why are you trying to like prove a point why not just make it matter why why does it have i don't, I don't know bro um 80 strength to dunk on people bro john moran is weak so it's it's th th this is what i mean people only talk that realism stuff when it benefits their play style you feel me there's been a lot of dunkers that don't have no damn 80 strength. You feel me? Basketball players are weak to begin with. You feel me? But but you you feel me? The sim stuff, they only But the second I start dribbling. Oh! Oh my god! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah you gotta have a 90 strength to get hall of fame uh posterizer <laughs> yeah the community's crazy dog or something like that right so that's the assumption i'm going off of and the same thing for vert in order to get contact dunks you only need a 75 <laughs> an 82 or an 85 well now let's just assume that maybe you have to go crazy high like with like a 90 to be able to get the elite contact dunks you know? and that's what damn. i'm holding the assumption as and then the same thing for stamina stamina should be attached to damn they attach everything <laughs> They're not playing. They are not playing, bro. Your dribble style animations, in my opinion, right? Your stamina, your acceleration, your speed should all be attached oh. to whatever animation you're trying to get dribble wise. Um, beforehand, it wasn't like that. It was oh, just so speed with ball, but now I'm just going with the assumption that all these should be attached. I don't know. I'm throwing a lot out there, but this is what my yeah, build yeah. theoretically looked like. I sacrificed some of my physicals, was not utilized enough when it came to attachment to anim animations and badges, so I did that. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. We're talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, 
Off the top of the dome, dome.